Special prosecutors have not looked at this. There's never been a special prosecutor appointed in this case. McNulty's film is called Waco, The Rules of Engagement. And it's already being shown to selected test audiences at film festivals around the country. It's a meticulous, almost tedious look at David Koresh and the FBI siege at Waco. It includes FBI audio tapes of negotiations with David Koresh. In one of those tapes, Koresh accuses an FBI agent of lying to him about whether agents in helicopters had fired guns into the compound. The agent later admits to Koresh that federal agents and the choppers might indeed have fired on the Branch Davidians during the initial federal raid on the compound. I agree with you on that. I don't know that they were trying to deceive, but it sure comes across that way. McNulty's film includes clips from congressional testimony, like this one. During that entire time, those six hours, and indeed those 51 days, the FBI never fired one shot at the Davidians. But the documentary challenges that. McNulty obtained infrared videotapes shot from the FBI plane that circled the compound while it was burning down. In the back of the compound, the part the public never saw, a military tank collapsed the gymnasium roof. Nearby, white flashes on the infrared tape appear to show gunfire. The government has testified in Congress that some of the white flashes on that tape were merely reflected sunlight. McNulty's experts raised questions about whether the flashes were actually gunfire directed into the building where the Branch Davidians were hiding. If so, it flatly contradicts government testimony and again raises the question, what really happened at Waco? The documentary doesn't provide a smoking gun about how the fires at Waco actually started. We were interested in one thing, and that was trying to discern the truth and then tell the American public. Do you think you've done that? I think we've succeeded in telling a part of the truth. We didn't tell any lies, but what we didn't do is answer all the questions. Who were the people at the back of the building firing into it? Who were the people firing incendiary devices into the building? Who shot first on February 28th? 